drop his at one more time. His name is at Hey D Mart. H E Y D M A R T. Hey D Mart. Char, dude. Go check him out. He streams. Usually, I think he's live in the mornings ish. Ah. I might be wrong about that. But when I watched him, it was in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this. Vaguely. Is there something around here? One more dude. I do remember the existence of the faded one more dude. And I thought there was like a key item slash interactable around here. This one right here. Oh, uh, you have to turn off all three altars and then the fog wall of Darth Havelius opens up. That sounds right. And the incredibly, annoyingly slow cinematic. This is an honest question for you. It's a, it, this is a genuine question. I'm being 100% sincere. Does anybody please do not feel ashamed to answer this if you're answering in the affirmative. It, does anybody actually particularly enjoy the swamp areas in Souls games? Okay. That was about what I expected. It Every time, brother. It appears that there are perhaps some, but a low percentage. Blight Town? I'm, I'm with you on that. Blight Town's kind of cool. They're a necessary contrast to the nice areas. I take some issue with that, but I understand your, your point. The sweet's not as sweet without the sour. Forbidden Woods is goat, though. That's and again, my Dark Souls Two memory is not so good. Is in Forbidden Woods the invisible, the one where invisible swords hit you the whole time while you're inside of the forest? Yes, and that's that's an area you you like. You're you're citing that as a case study of an area that you enjoy in the Souls games and franchise. Is that correct? That's not Forbidden Woods? What's Which one's the Forbidden Woods then? Thought I saw it. Thought I saw it coming there. Sir, you cannot poison. I, I come pre-poisoned. Shaded! Shaded Woods! Got me on my knees, Shaded. Harvest Valley. Harvest Valley is Dark Souls 2 incredibly large farmers carrying scythes. Is that correct? You gotta light that windmill on fire. Well, I, I shouldn't spoil it. We're gonna play Dark Souls 2 at, at some point after Dark Souls 3, so. So now the question is, did I miss one? Or is there just one located off to the side? Did I do the order wrong? Hello? What the heck is even that? Sorry to interrupt. I didn't realize it was by invite only.
Some of you yet live. Dragon area was pretty cool. I'm just gonna level. Hello. I do not remember. I, I remember fighting many dragons. I don't remember if it was this game or Dark Souls 2. <laughs> What's the one where you fight the dragon on like a... It's close to the end of the game. You, you go through like a large keep. Then at the end of it, there's a dragon. Yeah, in a bird cage. In a bird cage. That's Dark Souls 2. More of a dragon cage, I suppose. I'm like, dude, I don't know what this says about me. I do not like the swamps. I'll, I'll just say that straight up. However, my favorite biome in any game like this is usually ice biome. Ice is the, that's, if you give me the choice between like grass world, fire world, aka volcano world, I'm always going ice. Desert world? Desert's pretty good too. I mean, it's really just a simple question. I, I also like castle worlds. Castle worlds are probably my favorite. The Nameless Knight. Like, for example, what's your favorite act in Diablo 2? My favorite act is Act 1. Going through the dungeons and stuff like that. It's my favorite. The desert's pretty cool too, don't get me wrong. Three, I hate. I hate the poison. I hate the jungle. I hate Mephisto. Ah. You have skulls on your side. That's cute. I can't believe I can't swing. All I had to do was swing once. You would be dead. Farm meth all day. I see you know your judo well. Hello. I didn't realize. Add it again with the swamps. You're uh, not okay. I should have known. I should have known. That's a good heal opportunity. Roll through the skulls. He's going to go for his AoE. No, he's not. He's going to summon more skulls. I can't believe I did not die. Surely this is the final altar. What a world. I can't believe I did it. It was highly, highly unexpected. Hello. No, after all that, no. I refuse. Just give me as many items as possible on the way down here. That's all I ask. Hazel again? <laughs> Hello. God, she's good. Unfortunately, you have gotten into R1 range. No, 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 no. Oh! No, 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 no. See you, dumbass. <laughs> I 
I'm out. All right, hold on. Ah, Can you me. upgrade my sweet hammer? It's so good. I have nothing to fear. It's not Morn's great hammer. Yeah, it's Vord's great hammer. I will reinforce it. Thank you. And then, give coal. Use the fun that right. Uh huh. And then, would you like the sages, Cole? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna run some ads while the sweet sounds of Andre smithing carry you away. I'm gonna use the bathroom. I'll be back in just one moment, please. See you shortly. I'm back. I muted the hammer. You're absolutely right. By alt tabbing, I did mute okay, the hammer. That's my mistake. Do a live hockey pack opening. If I had any packs, Very well. just because you asked, I would have. But I do not have any remaining packs. I'm running that packless existence right now. Farewell, Ashen One. Ah, tis what needs. Uh, reinforce my Estus, please. Dude, this is like more Estus than I ever have. <clears throat> Pardon me. Than I ever have in uh, Dark Souls 1. I'm on five, like, 99% of the time. You have another one? All right, Wolfclaw. But I'm going to be real pissed if that proves to be incorrect. So I hope you know what you're talking about. It does appear at the bottom of the screen. It said there was... No Estus flasks in my inventory. Which is what I thought was the case, but... Told you, I'm real pissed. I'm extraordinarily pissed. Oh, don't go that way. I don't like that, dude. What's your opinion on Elden Ring? Um... I hope it comes out. When it comes out, I will play it. What's your opinion on Elden Ring? 
Haven't we only seen that trailer that has like, uh... It just has the ring, that ring of light? That's all we know, right? That and George R. R. Martin is involved. As a, as a consultant or a writer. Hello, bird lord. It has the Dragon Rider armor in it. That's a cool set. I like the Dragon Rider. So it'll never come out. Honestly, like... I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but if you have not already thought about this, you should note probably every major release that is that was not set to come out this spring, it was set to come out summer or later, will be delayed. Is this new bonfire? I'm Ron Burgundy. It's a shortcut. I don't remember this area. I felt like that Deacon area I remembered pretty well. But to be honest, not remembering where I'm going is probably a good indicator that I did well on this in my first attempt. Or in my YouTube attempt. I also thought there was a Silver Knight around here. Yeah, I hadn't even honestly thought about it until just now. But, like, I would assume that any non-indie project, if they haven't announced it yet, will be announced as being mega delayed. I don't know that to be certain. It's just my hunch. Indie stuff, I hope it will still stick around. Hello. Mostly I'm saying that because I want the Isaac DLC to finally come out. <laughs> Must have already fought you. Yeah, this is Shortcut City, right? Edmund, please. Luna needs a college fund. <laughs> no, I'm hoping that this, uh, like, government stimulus bill is just, like, the kickstart to making, like, all of Canadian post-secondary education free. We got, we got 18 more years to put that into practice. I know where we are, dude. It's Abyss Watchers. Hey, D-Mart, I remember. He told, well, he didn't tell me. He showed me by way of his stream. Sucker. I'm using you like I use the Covenant in Halo. <laughs> Way to go, dummy. You just did my dirty work for me, idiot. Plus, I got to steal your pants. Hello. Top five DS bosses ever incoming. I like this boss. This boss also marked... If you got the preview build of Dark Souls 3, you were allowed to play as much as you wanted, but you couldn't show anything past the the Abyss Watchers. This this was like meant to be the Thanos snap.
leave the people wanting a little bit more. Didn't people go past that point anyway? Yeah, but th this was from an era where marketing managers hadn't yet realized that YouTubers and streamers will not read an email. They will literally just scroll until they see the code and then be like, I'm good to go. But things have changed a lot since then. There, there were way more handcuffs for the most part on, on content you're allowed to show. Bash him. Bash him. Green management. Roll. I know there's there's a number two. There's a number two, boy. Okay, do an attack. There's a number three, boy. They're fighting each other. What are you doing? Hey, Einstein. I'm on your side. Whoa, hey, my kill. The real Dark Souls starts here. <laughs> this is the end of Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within. They're pogging up. terrible movie it is i saw it in theaters and also bought the dvd but it was back when i was young and dumb and dvds were still cool they had all dvds had only been around for like two years people were like oh i gotta get that i gotta see the music videos plus actually like the spirits within was kind of a cool dvd to own because the level of animation at that time was kind of unprecedented so it was neat to see how they did that, but the movie itself sucked pretty bad. The damage, dude. This is like... I'm disgusted in myself. Heal me? Good sip, good sip. Bait and attack, please. And then sip. Okay, I think we gotta be a little bit more aggressive. Aggression seems to work better. I don't know what he's doing, so I, I took the opportunity to sip slightly. Alright, that was like... It's not over yet, don't get greedy. It does look good for me, though. Almost timing. Almost timing. <laughs> the hammer, the hammer's almost too good. Rest me, please. Yo, I forgot about this. The cup of Sir Galahad. That hammer sucks in Irithyll, though. Well, luckily, we're not going to Irith. Okay, I thought this was going to be Irithyll. I was going to say, luckily, we're not going to Irithyll anytime soon, by the way. I was, I was setting up the comedic timing. I wanted it too badly, and that explains why we didn't get it there. Carthus Rouge? I caught this Rouge. Did I play this far with Josh? This seems right. Isn't there... There's like troll skeletons here who, who shoot... Um, yeah, they roll a big ball at you down that staircase. No wonder I remember more of this game than I thought. Ball made of money. In their world, bones equal dollars. All they want's another chance at life. They've never seen so much food as this. Underground, 
There's half as much food as this. The worms are their money. The bones are their dollars. Good bow form. He must be Welsh. That's right. I know some things about the 100 Years War, which is actually just called the 100 Years War. Oh no. I read that book. What should... Is it a distant mirror? Or is it a distant mirror about World War One? I? I don't remember. I read it like seven years ago. Barbara Tuckman. Emilio Estevez. The mighty duck man. Anyway. We have fun here. She can make the tuck tuck sound all night long. She doesn't have to. She's an accomplished writer. You call yourself a Wales fan. What's the national vegetable? I'm gonna guess that the national vegetable of Wales, Wales is like a parsnip. It's It's gotta be something like parsnip or a leek or a turnip or a um, a bay leaf. Dude, I was talking about it yesterday. I know like I've ragged on the uh, meal prep services, Blue Apron, HelloFresh, Fresh Prep, etc, etc. I'm actually, during the self-isolation, social distancing era that we find ourselves in, they have been a godsend. To not have to go to the grocery store and get to cook real meals is actually like... You know how like when your power goes out and like 10 minutes before your power went out, you're like, everything's boring and I hate it. There's nothing to watch. There's nothing to play. Blah, blah, blah. That's what this pandemic has done for me. The pandemic is like the power going out. Help. And all of a sudden, I've learned to appreciate all of the first world problems I previously complained about. <laughs> now, like when the... Whenever the meal kit arrives, I'm like, I get to cook a real meal. This is incredible. I have three fully charged Game Boy SPs. What did you just say to me, you little shit? I'll have you know I have over three confirmed fully charged Game Boy SPs. Dude, there's like too many skeletons. Did you read or listen to The Rise and Fall of the Third Reich? I listened to The Rise and Fall of the Third Reich. I would honestly, if you have Audible and you want the most bang for your buck that you could possibly get, get The Rise and Fall of the Third Reich. I forget the guy's name. Who wrote it? His name's Norman something. Norman Cantor? Is that it? Carthus Milk Ring. Like, it is... Maybe... Like, 50 hours? Something like that. If you're looking for most bang for your buck... Wrong enemy, dude. It does not get more bang for your buck than the rise and fall of the Third Reich. If you list, if you have an interest in history and you listen to audiobooks to fall asleep, you owe it to yourself to get that book starting yesterday. That's true. I mean, you could just watch Northern Lion Tries instead. That's cool too. I support that. Dude. 
just Isaac Banks? What the heck, that book is over 2,000 pages long. It is, it's a long book. There's no doubt about that. Wouldn't recommend, okay. Careful, careful. Bonfire, dude! Are you still into hardcore history? Um, I go through fits and spurts. So I have not listened to a hardcore history episode since, um, episode two of his, uh, like, Perry War Japan one. I'm not in a spurt right now. Yeah, Supernova in the East. Thank you, thank you. Go ahead, just crunch me. I shouldn't have been there. He's only had one other episode since then. So that's kind of like... I don't want to... You got me, you son of a gun. You got me. I don't want to say that's my problem. But that's kind of like... I listened to Hardcore History for like seven years. And then I finally caught up. It finally happened. And now I'm like, I'm waiting forever. For the new one. So I just kind of started uh, listening to audiobooks instead. But it doesn't matter anymore. Because like literally, I fall asleep in like under 15 minutes every night. I'm, I'm very blessed in that regard. It wasn't always like that. I've gone through more insomnia-rich periods of life, but right now it's like, it's beautiful. I'm sure maybe I'll we'll start watching Dan Carlin again around October of uh, 2020. Seems appropriate. Bone Wheels. Revolutions podcast is great. I heard great things, and I watched a little. It's not... that I think the podcast is bad. But I just can't get down with like an under two hour long podcast. And there's a little bit of hypocrisy here because obviously Check the Wire is only an hour long. But especially if the podcast has ad reads in it and a theme song, I just can't do it. Like I've been listening, there's this awesome podcast that I've been listening to called The Dream, which is about like, uh, multi-level marketing companies, you know, like Amway and LuLaRoe and stuff like that. It's a really, really good podcast, but I can't listen to it when I fall asleep because they have ad reads, for one, that kind of like break up the, the meditative aspect of falling asleep. And then for two, there's a theme song. So like, Every couple of, you know, I'll just be falling asleep, and then it'll be like that. Dunka, 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 dunka. This episode of the Dream is brought to you by Sherry's Berries. Actually, like I'm listening to season one, and it's kind of like a, a sign of the times. They're like, and I trust me, I'm not hating, but it's like uh, looking to have fun on your phone. Angry Birds Mobile has just come out. Pilot a variety of funky and colorful birds to save the pigs of Rovio Town. Now, if Rovio was like, you guys want to pimp angry birds on Check the Wire? I would be like, well, what are you offering? But I would at least entertain the offer, let's put it that way. Carthus Blood Ring. Should have should have known. What a sound, dude. What a what a horrible sound. We're talking 1,000 turnips. 1,000 turnips is nothing. I don't even know how many. I think I'm sitting on like 35 or 4,500 right now. 
I might be on like 6,500. I don't know. I, I actually I said I didn't go deep this week, but then I went back and doubled down because I was mad I didn't get uh, stonks last week. This looks familiar. We open this up, and then there's a boss fight in there or something. Ember. Mine hit 502 bells today. That's the dream. That's it. I'm happy for you. I'm still holding out hope that I'll be there, but I don't think uh, I don't think I have the space left in my week to give me the spike that I would need now. No, I haven't played uh, Valorant yet. I, I haven't asked either, um, and it's not out of like I'm better than Valorant sort of thing. It's just like in my in my life right now. With the content that I produce, there's not really great opportunities to play like a kind of esports shooter. But I will say, first off, I think if I played, I would get my ass kicked for sure. However, I do also want to say, out of all the shooters out there, and you may or may not believe this, out of all the shooters out there, CSGO style shooters are the ones I tend to be best at. I am not esports by any stretch of the imagination. But if you compare like the the loop of a, a and the mechanics of like a CSGO to a PUBG and to a Fortnite and to a, a Call of Duty, I am actually relatively good at CS GO compared to all of those other games. Okay, so that's just the shortcut so we can get to the boss fight, I think. I first found you on Twitch playing CS GO, I believe you. There was a period, like, you know, you, you're... Your life and different epochs in your life are defined by like what you were, uh, what you were doing. The summer of 2014 for me. You know what? You're right. I forgot. Uh oh. The summer of 2014 for me is long runs and then a lot of CS:GO. I don't remember you in the least. Maybe I do. I'm starting to remember this. You shoot maybe purple things, you destroy the pots. Oh, uh, you're like a half you're a half skeleton? You're a little little tiny skeleton? I don't remember. Like, he's a big skeleton, but he's missing the lower half. Something like that. He's a crawly boy. I told you I kind of remember. I think. He's huge! I've been transported to his lair. Ah! You're right, I do remember this guy. You gotta break his uh, five golden rings. Incredible. Absolutely incredible performance there. What are you doing there? I remember you spit stuff. I do remember that. The miasma of death and disease. What is that? Just, just painful? That would just be painful to be a part of? Okay, fair enough. He do be crawling though. There's enemies back there? Kind of just 
Taking a guess on that one. Got lucky. Let's go. Bonies, dude. Where are you going? You can't run. You really want to go back to this guy? Help, 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 help. I didn't possess the necessary level of self-control. I really thought I could dodge that one. I dodged the, the first time we saw it. Okay, yeah, you dropped some skellies on me, maybe. That's a hit. Miasma. Miasma! Your hand! Your hand sucked me into the miasma. Go oh, get it. Let's go. Dude, we really only have to destroy three of his bracers. Get him. It's up there somewhere. Oh, we are kind of close to the top, aren't we? Maybe just bash the crap out of him. Okay. That'll work. Man, it, I love that this is so clearly just a filter of darkness placed upon an otherwise bright area. That's funny. Dude, we're just cruising through the bosses here. This is madness. How would you code it? I would simply make the environment bright. Next one is one of the hardest. I'll be the judge of that. You know what? You can get a camera resync. You're gonna have to wait till the the cutscene ends, and I will resync the camera. <laughs> You're tempting fate. I know. I have. What do I probably have? Like sixty thousand souls now. Forty-two thousand is still high. Okay, light bonfire. Travel to the Firelink Shrine. Resync the web camera. You know what? You're right. I do have 60,000 now. There is uh, there's an optional boss down the, the bone ladder to the